Hey YouTube, it's Sean. Well, finally got me a real mill. Um, I'm still working on the other one. I'm gonna try to get it going, but I got me a real mill. It's, it's just a mini mill. It's a, it's a grizzly, and it's not in my shop. And this is why. I bought a little kit to convert it to belt drive. And here's this display on it. It hasn't been used much, I don't believe. But, um, this is the model. It's a G0781. Alright, these are known to blow up the plastic gears in the headstock. So what I'm going to do is put a belt drive on it. I bought a little kit. and Then, um, you don't have to worry about shifting into high and low because this is actually got high and low and um, like a bigger mill would have but what I had to do I didn't have to bore the pulley but the pulley was 30 millimeters so I had to go out on the lathe and make a 2 millimeter shim to fit in there and make a keyway in that shim All right, and that works per perfect beautiful um, then now I have to, I had to bore these holes out because the plate doesn't uh, match up with the the bolt pattern doesn't match up so we're going to get in that they said it would not fit okay they told me it would not fit well tell me something that will not go work and I consider it a challenge okay and um, same thing with the motor we're doing that one got the pulley see the pulley was uh, 9 millimeter it needed to be 10 got that um, had to make a new uh, keyway all the things got that bolting that together bolting this together um, but nope I ran it on the gears and the gears are fine in there I'm gonna leave them fine we're just gonna lock it out you know into neutral and run the um, belt drive but there's part one I'm gonna make this short because I got very little very little time to work on this there's the display. It's got the uh, RPMs and uh, forward and reverse. I took that stupid uh, cover off this like I did on my lathe because there's no reason. I can push that button just as easy as I can the uh, other button. It's ridiculous. That little flappy thing that they put on these. This is ridiculous. I just, I can't see a point in them. They're just annoying at best so that's going in the junk I just popped it off there I just don't see a point in them I never uh, could you got green and red you can push this just as easy as you can that anywho that's what we got I'm gonna keep working on it and we'll bring you back for more call this part one all right folks this is part two of the little lathe that I bought the Grizzly G0781 all right all right I didn't like the way it felt when I turned the pulley it was a little gravelly so I went and took it back apart and uh, re-greased those bearings and I'll tell you what it's feather and there's no play so we'll, we'll, we'll um, do a run out test when we get it all together of course but uh, that's way good now you get a good look at that shim I made and I had to get a make a fatter key but now things fit together really well so we are going to do this because they said I couldn't alright we'll bring you back <laughs> 